Hi friends, welcome to eConcepts. Today, I'll let you know the basic concepts of the Pareto Principle, especially in fields like sales and marketing, time management, project management, and financial management. The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, is a concept that states approximately 80% of the effects or outcomes are caused by 20% of the inputs or efforts. This principle has widespread applications in various fields, highlighting the importance of focusing on the vital few aspects that yield significant results. Let's explore the Pareto principle with real-life examples from different domains. First comes business and sales. In business, the Pareto principle can be observed in sales, where around 80% of revenue comes from roughly 20% of customers. So, you need to focus on maintaining strong relationships with the top 20% of high-revenue customers addressing their needs to foster loyalty and drive repeat business. As far as time management is concerned, the Pareto Principle suggests that approximately 80% of your results come from 20% of your activities. What should you do then? You need to maximize productivity by identifying and prioritizing the most impactful tasks, such as focusing on critical projects and high-priority issues that generate desired outcomes while delegating or minimizing time spent on less important activities. Next comes project management. Here, the Pareto Principle suggests that roughly 80% of project delays or problems stem from 20% of the critical issues. Now, to enhance project success rates, project managers can identify and address the key challenges or bottlenecks that significantly impact project timelines and outcomes while allocating resources and attention to resolving these critical issues and minimizing delays. The next step is only for you, and that is personal finance management. In personal finance, the Pareto principle can be observed in spending habits, where 80% of expenses often come from 20% of discretionary purchases. Here are the tips for you. You should achieve better financial planning and savings by identifying and reducing unnecessary or excessive spending in the 20% category while prioritizing essential expenses that contribute to long-term economic stability and goals. In the last, we will discuss marketing and advertising. Here, the Pareto Principle applies to customer targeting. It suggests that 80% of the desired response or conversion comes from 20% of the target audience. To optimize marketing efforts, marketers can maximize conversion rates and return on investment by identifying key segments within the target audience and tailoring marketing messages and strategies to resonate with the vital 20% that are most likely to respond positively to marketing campaigns. That is all from my side. I hope you have liked the video. Thanks for your time.